Betty has lived in the same home in Underwood Avenue, a quiet cul-de-sac in Mysicama, since 1969. Public transport facilities in the area are poor, and requests have been made over the years for improved bus stops and a crossing for pedestrians. Bus passengers, including many elderly local residents, are forced to stand on rough ground in all weathers, and requests for a bus shelter or even a paved area have been turned down by the local authority. As they say, they cannot build because the land is privately owned. Crossing the road to or from either bus stop is a major hazard, as is clear from the typical traffic flow shown here on a quiet Wednesday at around 11 a.m. A section of the A472 is to be widened and will run across the strip of land owned by residents which separates Underwood Avenue from the A472. Objections were brushed aside and Betty was told that the council would acquire the land by compulsory purchase. It seems that Betty's section of quiet cul-de-sac would become part of a widened main road and an ancient oak possibly a protected tree, on what is currently Betty's land and other trees sheltering residents from traffic will disappear. There will clearly be a major impact on the quality of life in Underwood Avenue. And probably a significant drop in property values. Betty has been told that this is a fait accompli and there is no appeal possible. No crumb of comfort is apparent, and for example, there do not appear to be any plans to improve bus stops or facilities for crossing what presumably will become an even busier main road. Residents, pedestrians and public transport seem to have no place in local authority planning. <laughs>